Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about how to get the best bang for your buck for gaming. Not just any gaming, but for Nintendo Switch. We're going to go through all the steps and what you need, and uh, we're going to give you what kind of controllers, what, how, to how to buy a Switch, because you know some people don't want to pay so much for Switches, which I was one of those people. Um, but we're going to give you all that information right now, so here we go on with the video. Alright, so the first thing is you must have a Nintendo Switch. Obviously, if you want a game with a Nintendo Switch, you have to have a Nintendo Switch. Now, don't just go to the store and buy a Nintendo Switch. It is very, very expensive. There is no point of going to the store and paying 350 to 400 bucks now for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, when I bought mine, uh, I got it for my birthday, but I, did, I still had to pay half of it. I had to pay 150 and 150. But for, if you guys really want to get the cheapest, I would go and look on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Those are probably the best ways to find Nintendo Switch used. Um, it's the best way to find it for a cheaper price. Now, it might not be the greatest value. It might have scratches on it. But it's perfect because you can just play it on your TV if you really want to. Now, if you want to travel with it, I would suggest buying a brand new one or buying the Nintendo Switch Lite. That's a good traveling thing. But the Nintendo Switch itself, you can travel with it and you can play on the TV. So I, be I believe probably the best way to get the bang for your buck is to buy it used. Buy it on Craigslist, buy it on Facebook Marketplace, things like that. So that's how the first point on how to find a Nintendo Switch for the cheapest way you can. Now the next thing is a controller. Now obviously what the Switch comes with is two little tiny Joy-Cons, like right here. These are the Joy-Cons. These little tiny things are probably, the obviously, the first thing you will start off with is these two. Throw these in the trash can. You don't need those. Those things are garbage. Now, what I believe you probably should get, and I suggest getting, is this. This, it was only $20 when I bought it. Bought it. it is super cheap. Those Joy-Cons itself, if you actually buy them, they are $60 just for those two things. That's because sometimes for specific games, you have to get get those too. Um, for like like um, Super Mario Party, games like that. Um, like And also Mario Tennis, games you want to play with uh, without having this right here and you can use motion. But besides, besides the point, those things are garbage. You want to buy a $20 Pro Controller. This is battery operated, not the $60 ones where they're rechargeable. But see, these are battery kind. They are ones where you can just put the batteries back in and just continue playing with them. You don't have to worry about them breaking or dying and you have to recharge it. You can just slip the batteries right in and they're only $20. And you might be able to even find used ones on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist, other, other used stores. You might even find, if you have a pawn shop around you, your area, you might be able to find one there too. So just keep on the lookout for Pro Controllers because I think those are probably the best things for best controllers for the Nintendo Switch right now. Alright, so the next thing we're talking about is obviously the games. It's very important on what games you want to play. I mean, obviously, you guys want to know what kind of games you want to play. Um, the first game that I ever got was Super Mario Odyssey. I got that for my birthday. Uh, I didn't have to pay for that one. My parents bought me that. But what I would suggest for you guys is, again, find it used. Find it used and make sure it works before you buy. That's another thing that I didn't say on the Nintendo Switch. Watch out for it. You must check and make sure it works and, and the games work. Um, you can probably buy games $25 to $35 to $40 or so. $20 to $40. Most people don't sell their games uh, at a low price because they're, the games are expensive themselves. So buying them used is probably the best way because at Walmart, let's say, they're $60. Like this game right here is $60 at Walmart currently. It is very expensive. Um, this is the first game I got, the Super Mario Odyssey. This is the first game that I suggest for anyone to start playing on, on uh, the Nintendo Switch. This game and Mario Kart right here. These two are probably the two best first starting games to play on the Nintendo Switch. Um, after that, you can go adventure out. Go on Nintendo's, uh, the Nintendo Online Store. Go on there, find games that you prefer. Find games that you enjoy. Buy, buy those, 
Uh, sometimes there is even some free games. Also, obviously, Fortnite, that's a free game. Um, you can get other games, such as Tetris 99. Now, before you get this, this is a warning right now, make sure you get Nintendo Switch Online Membership. It's very cheap, only $20 for a whole entire year. Um, that will let you access to play many other games, like this game right here, you can play online. Um, you can play against people, but you have to have that Nintendo Switch Online Membership in order to play online. Same thing with Super Smash Brothers, which obviously you guys, since you guys uh, have been watching my videos, which you should be, um, I play Super Smash Brothers. And in order to play online, you have to have that online membership. So that is very important to have that online membership. And uh, many times people are wondering why can't I play online? And that's the main reason. Uh, it probably will pop up, but most people don't want to pay that $20. So just just find some games that your friends could play. Uh, the game that I must recommend, obviously, is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That is my most favorite game. The best game ever, in my opinion, besides Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2 on the Wii. <laughs> Phenomenal games, but besides the, that's besides the point. Um, yes, it is very important to find games used, and make sure, if you're going to want to play online, to get that Nintendo Switch online membership. It's only $20 a whole entire year, so it's not very expensive, but make sure before you buy games just for online, make sure you have that in mind as well. All right, so the next thing is some headphones. Now, these aren't required, but they are very nice to have. Um, so you're not interfered by everyone else getting and listening to you. I hate it when that happens. So these are called Power Locus. I love these things. I got these for Christmas. Um, they are extremely nice. Um, I don't remember how much they are. I believe they're only $30. See right there, Power Locus. And they're Bluetooth and they are wired. See right here, you put a 3.5 auxiliary cord through there. So you can plug it into your Switch. And once you plug it into your Switch, obviously the audio is really good on here. Now there obviously there's multiple other types of headphones. Just by your preference, you can go get those headphones if you want to. Um, let me know in the comments other headphones that are super nice too. Uh, maybe I can check those out and do a review on them. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me giving you all the different points on how to get the best bang for your buck. Um, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, comment down below on any videos that would be a good idea for me to do. Um, and I will be starting Super Smash Brothers. As I've been saying, it, USPS is taking forever to get my game captured in. So once that comes in, I'll be doing a bunch of uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, videos and uh, a bunch of other things like these type of videos too. Uh, don't forget the back to the Lord. Don't forget to check those out. Those are very important right now, especially during the time we are living in. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and hope to see you guys next time.